Well, Danny, in the week, he said that today was all about putting smiles back on people's faces. To what extent do you think we did that today? 100% after the, yeah, after the final whistle. Everyone's gone home happy. Um, the players have, have put in a real, real shift. Um, but it starts, starts midweek in training, really, and the, the hard work that's gone into training this week. And the lads have been fantastic from Tuesday um, into Thursday and Friday. And it shows, showed out there today. You're used to selection headaches, of course. I'm sure you had a few before today's game. Tell us how we set up. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you would not believe it's, you know, it's so tough. It really is. I mean, there's some disappointed players in that that change room before the game, um, which I totally understand, totally get, because everyone wants to play. Like I've said before, and it is tough. Um, but then it's, it's it's so good to see the the lads who went out there and performed and and put a real real performance in. Um, and, and get us into the next round. But it, it is tough, I'm not going to lie. You just have to really, really think about who will be right for what game, what formation, etc. Um, we just went with real experience in the middle of the park with, with Duffy and Dans and, and Murphy sitting in there. And the, the headache really was the, the back line, um, whether to keep, keep Mendy in there, because he's so effective, he really is. I mean, I don't even know what his best position is. I thought he was a six, but he's, he's so comfortable as a, a centre back as well. Um, so, it was unfortunate for Joe Bunny today, he got left out. Um, but that's why we've got a squad. We've got the squad. Everyone needs to be competing and pulling in the right direction to, to challenge and push each other. That's the only way you get better and it's the only way you win win cups and, and leagues. That said, it was a great start, wasn't it? It was fantastic. I mean, we've been working on the the, the emphasis of being on the front foot and, and pressing and, and, and looking to, to play forward on every opportunity, really, just to put the, the opposition on the back foot. And the lads, you know, they, they started the game very well and they got the reward with the, the goal. Goals change games, obviously. Um, but to what extent was the timing of our second and third strikes vitally important to you? Of course they are. When you get one goal, you know, if you can get another one very, very quickly, it, it kind of like it just puts the opposition right down. It really does mentally, you know, it, it's tough because if there's, a, if, if there's a good gap in between like the first goal, um, they, they can get, get a foot, foot on the game and, and start to look look to get the equaliser. So from that perspective, it's really important. You keep pressing, you keep pushing um, and put the oppo opposition on the back foot and try and get that second as quickly as possible. And we did that brilliantly today. Bambridge clearly had to chase the game in that second period. Um, with the fast pace that we have in our squad though, how much did that suit us? Yeah, because we, we said it at half time, we said it's going to be a case of not doing anything silly in possession. Um, don't overplay in our own half. You know, if we can get down the sides of them early and start stretching, stretching their defence, um, then brilliant. Um, and it was just about game management, really, because we knew it would open up, because they had to go and go and try and get get a goal back. Um, and that was the only disappointing thing, really, the goal that they did get back out, and nothing disappointed with that. Um, the reactions to the, the second phase, um, we didn't put pressure on the ball when, when he received it, he had too many touches. Um, but that said, our reactions again after that, we were straight back on the front foot, taking control, and, and we went went back after them. Marcelo Pitaluga did really make many saves today. You must be equally impressed with your defence as you are with your forward line today. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we stressed it. We really did in terms of putting pressure on the ball, whether it's in wide areas, central areas. Um, but then if the ball does come into the box or a diagonal ball, which they did work quite a bit, I was surprised uh, Pond was playing up front. I expected him to play at the back, but... You know, they, they have used that tactic this season quite a bit, so um, they were always going to look for him and then look for second ball. So if you didn't, you know, stop it at source, make sure you compete and then win those second balls. Just get bodies around there. The more bodies we've got around the ball, the more chance we've got of winning the second balls. And I thought the lads were excellent today. They really were. You made the triple substitution in the 73rd minutes. Um, to what extent was the game won by that point? Yeah, yeah it, was, you know, it was put to bed, really. It was just a case of... Um, not giving any sloppy goals away, um, keeping it as it was, and then looking to, to to add a few more for ourselves. I mean, a couple of the substitutions were forced. Um, Brandon Brandon Lee had a bit of a tight calf, so just said, look, we're not taking any chances. Brought him off, and same with Lewis Benson as well. His hamstrings were both both quite tight, so it's a case of get them off um, and just look after him really. We kept fighting till the end, of course, despite the margin of our lead. That can only be a good thing, can't it? Of course it can. I mean, we, we spoke about half time, you know, keep going, keep putting them under pressure. Um, if you can press them in their own half, brilliant, do it. Um, and I think it just, you know, 85th minute, I think it was, Danzi, you know, he's ran past 
I think he was one of our players, Pre put pressure on the keeper and the keeper was kicked out of play, um, deep in their half, you know, that just says to me, you know, the lads with the experience, you know, they know what to do, when to do it. And then for any of the younger lads, you know, they should be looking at that and thinking that's that's how you how you play. That's how you do the ugly side of the game, which is so, so important. See the best teams in the world, you know, Man City is the, one of the hardest working teams out of possession. And that's what you've got to aspire to. If you can get that side into your game, then, you know, you, you won't go far wrong. Now, Danny, we've talked about this pretty much all season, but to what extent today have we had a first half dominant performance, a second half dominant performance, and of course, a result? No, well, everything you want. You know, everything you want from a game of football in terms of winning a game first and foremost, and then secondly, the performance, first half, second half. And, you know, I thought we got that. There was periods in the game where they had a little bit of possession, but they didn't really hurt us. They just looked for the switches of play, looking for our, our wide men to switch off, really, which is really some, something similar to what we do to the opposition. Um, but their movement wasn't quite as, as good as ours. Um, but apart from that, they, they didn't really threaten. A few shots that, that went over here and there, but apart from that, it was... Uh, relatively good. What can we take from today's game, bearing in mind that Bamber Bridge are from the league above? It's the way we responded really, because we were obviously massively disappointed last week after after getting beat. Um, you know, there was loads of things wrong there. Put them right during the week, come back fighting, stand up and be counted for, you know, and every, every one of them to, to a, you know, to a man in that dressing room stood up, went out there and, and worked as hard as they possibly could. And they were willing to sacrifice themselves and, they're the standards that you've got to set as an individual and a collective group going forward and that, that is what will win you a cup or win you the league. And just finally, um, in the week and in today's programme though, you appealed to Silton and Faithful to really get behind the side, they didn't mm. let you down did they? No, no, I mean, you know, I don't know how many times I've said it, I've said it hundreds of times, it, it honestly does make a big, big difference, it really does, you know, from winning 1-0, that, that extra man, that 12th man, as effectively what it is, it just gives you that, you know, that extra little little bit of energy, extra boost, just gets behind you and, you know, it helps massively, so, you know, can't fault them enough, really. Thanks, Danny.